Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't charge me. Hello darlings, welcome back to Cognac's Corner. We're here at the Art Antiques Festival in Bridgehampton. And I'm here with this very interesting publisher of several art magazines. Introduce yourself to the camera doll. Hi, hi everybody. My name is Bruce Morris. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of uh, Louise Bluen Media. We publish Art and Auction, Modern Painters, Gallery Guide. We have a website called Art Info. Artinfo.com. Artinfo.com. Now, what is so special about the Art Hamptons Festival here in Virginia? Why should everyone come and participate? It's, it's a great opportunity to see beautiful work uh, in, uh, in the nicest place to be in the summer. Isn't it fantastic? It's the best. And there's so much art. Oh, here? Yeah. yeah well, not, just, not just here at the fair, but uh, all over East Hampton, Sac Harbor, South Hampton. I know, darling. I lots know. Lots of galleries. Lots of galleries. Support lots your of local art. galleries. Absolutely. Tell my audience how often your magazine comes out. Does it come, you have several, I know you have several magazines. Do they right. come out quarterly? Do they come out monthly? And Art and Auction comes out uh, every month. Uh, Modern Painters comes out nine times a year. Gallery Guide comes out 10 times a year. Uh, the website has uh, 10 new stories every day, uh, plus a database of 11,000 galleries around the world, uh, three and a half million art auction prices for free that you can look up, That's dating wonderful. back to 1922. Uh, 200,000 artists and all kinds of biographies on them. Enthusiasts. What are they looking for today? Uh, it all depends. I mean, there's so many different art aficionados. I mean, people like contemporary works, and people like modern works, and people like old masters. Some people just like to invest their money in the right art. Sometimes, but you know, but you isn't could, that tr isn't it true that you should really love what you buy? That's, 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 that's more. It, that, yeah. I think that's what it's all about, and it's you know just appreciating this beautiful work and. This happens to be a beautiful piece of work right yeah. here. This whole room is, uh, is is filled with just magnificent work. I don't know if, if you could shoot that other wall. We did. We I mean, did I shoot. You have Warhol. I know. We saw Andy Warhol down there. Is there any particular painting here that you really love the most? Yeah. Not really. Yeah. But you love it all. I love them all. You love it all. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much Thanks. for that wonderful interview. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Yes, you're going to give me a kiss? Sure.
Welcome back, darlings. Testing. I'm here with the Countess. Countess Luanne de Lesseps. De Lesseps. De Lesseps. You were close. You were close. <laughs> Tell me about this fabulous book. I'm not going to be here Sunday about for your my books. Book? Yes, oh, yes. I am. Um, yes. What is it? It's really autobiographical about my life and growing up in Connecticut and how I make that journey from being a normal kid to marrying into the aristocracy. So it's about my journey and. It's fun because I have a lot of adventure in the book, and so it, then it rolls into matters and etiquette, which I think everybody can use. Um, it's really the art of being yourself and making other people feel comfortable, because that's what I think class is all about. Now Don't you? you? Yeah, absolutely. Now, you've been working on this book for almost a whole year, because well, we talked yeah, about it at HelpfulOrphans.org. Yes. yes. And so uh, that big event that was at the Nova Art Gallery. Yes. And now you how long did it take you to write this book? Actually, it took me, um, what should have taken a year, it took me three months because we were trying to get the book out for season two of The Real Housewives. So I had to write it very quickly. I had a writer, Diane Reverend, who helped me with the book, who was excellent. And so it was really um, an amazing journey to do the book in such a short time and, and put pictures in about my life and my past. I had a lot of digging to do. Um, but it, it was. It, but it's a collab. You know it's a collaboration about all the years of you living and all the experiences that you've had yes. throughout your life. Yes, right? and I think people can really relate to that. It's about um, it's about learning, and you know you can be born with manners and a kid, but you can also learn them. Tell you can mirror people that you admire, and that's what the book is about. Tell my audience Hi. the name of the book. It's called Class with the Countess, and it's from Gotham Books, and it came out April 16th. Is there a website that they can There is a website, classwiththecountess.com or luandolaseps.com. Countess. Darling, do we want to talk about another book? Then maybe not. No, I will. Tell yes, Only tell my book. No, but you asked me about Alex and Simon's book about parenting. Yes. Which, you know, uh, at first I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. And then I realized they're writing a book about parenting and their way of parenting. They're not saying, how do you parent? They're no. saying, this is how we parented our children. No, but it's also so. their experiences in New York sure. and all the different things that have happened yeah. to them throughout so you know their experience. There is something, you know, it's, uh, there's a whole big world out there, and, and I think everybody can learn from everybody else. And the minute you think you're right, you begin to rock. Don't forget. That's right, darling. Let's get here. Yeah. Yeah. Keep watching more celebrity interviews coming up, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> For the cognac shell. I said the cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said the cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not a playable. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.